no matter what you want to buy. You'll find it all on the hub. The SME Market Hub. Buy, sell, list, connect. <laughs> She is definitely making her mark on the scene as the new princess of Afro pop fusion. It is the gorgeous Sion. Hi. Welcome to the juice. Thank you. You're looking at me like you wanna taste me. Me pretty pretty, me witty witty. You're looking at me like you never heard of me. <laughs> I love your outfit. Thank you. Very it's nice. by um, it's by a lady called Bisola Saka. Okay. She's been putting some stuff together for me recently, and she's been doing a really good job. Okay. Yeah. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Jam question. Okay. <laughs> Who is Sion? Sion, Sion, Sion is um, the silly little girl trying to make it in the zanga. That's what I try to say. But yeah, I'm I'm an artist. Um, I dabble in different genres. It's all it's a, like a fusion for me when it comes to genres of. Of music um, I've been in the industry professionally since 2012 mm -hmm. um, I've been working hard you know trying to put out something that makes a difference in the industry and stands you know firm I just recently got signed to a record label called yes, congratulations Baseline. thank you so much called baseline entertainment and I've got an amazing team working with me and I'm so happy that now I can focus fully and give you guys the best that Sion has okay. to offer. So uh, before you got signed and, you know, let's think about before you got signed and mm -hmm. now, what do you think is gonna change? Um, definitely my presence. Um, I've been like, I've been struggling. It's been a struggle, trust me. The hustle day is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it is so serious. But yeah, I've been struggling and um, I've been learning new things. I've met people, I've learned a lot of lessons. Um, definitely have changed since I started out. I'm more mature in the Nigerian music industry as part when it comes to knowing how to behave, who to talk to and how to just make your runs. And so, um, yeah, it's going to be, like I said, more presence, uh, more visuals from Sion, more music and I hope you guys enjoy it. And it's like a, a proper like rebranding. You've changed your yeah. Twitter. You've yes, changed. Yes, I have. But new the name's still the same. All new everything. <laughs> the name's still Almost all new. <laughs> Cyan. The name is still Cyan. Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right. So, what really excites you about this deal? Because in the past, a lot of artists have um, left their you know record labels. Yeah. Um, and decided to you know basically have like an independent mm -hmm. you know like I guess record label free career mm -hmm. so what really excites you about this deal I think I'm excited because it came when I needed it to come I am all about going through the process I know like it's a climb and so I wanted to you know just like push myself so that when I get to the top hopefully I can look back and say yo I did this so when I first started out I wasn't looking to get signed to any record label I wanted a record label that was ready to push me and a record label that believed in me and you know I also in them because it's, it's a two-way street you know and so when this deal came I was so happy about it I know that they're they believe in me and they're willing to do all they can to help me be heard which is what I want to be now let's talk about your music okay. because you've done the um, you've kind of done the Afro pop, mm -hmm. then there um, like Awada Erikiri, yes, which is yes. a bit more I'd say soulful yes, and everything. How yes. would you describe your sound? My sound, like you said, is a fusion. I started out with R and B. The first song I wrote was an R and B love song. I was 13 years old. Mm -hmm. I had never been in love, but obviously from reading books and watching TV, I knew what love felt like. And so. Um, Gradually, I started to realize that I needed to sound more Nigerian because I sounded a bit international based on the music that I listened to when I was growing up. And so I started trying to learn how to speak Yoruba, speak Pidgin because I, I had to embody that to let it come out and be real. Because the thing is, when the fans see that you're not real, they can mm. tell, like, mm. it's not, you don't have to fake it. So I started learning that and then so I transitioned from just a pure international R&B to different genres. I, I landed on rap. I'm not a rapper, but I can try. I landed on Afro beats and mm. it's just been, it's, I've cultivated and honed it into this fusion that is perfect for me, works perfectly for me. Okay, um, let's talk about the different singles that you've released so far. Okay. Um, okay, the, well, the most recent one has to be Boogie Down. Yes. With the WizKid. Yes, it then is. Then let's go back. Okay. Okay, so the most recent, like you said, is Boogie Down. Before then, I had put out Bust My Brain featuring General, General Pipe. Pipe. Yep. Um, it's like a, it has like this whole reggaeton thing mm. going on. And I really like it because it was fun making it. And before then, I had put out Neko Neck mm. and Awadari Carry It Together 
but I think people kind of caught on to Awada than mm -hmm. they did Nekone. That was quite raunchy. Awada, Yeah, that really? was actually quite raunchy. Really? Yeah, because I was you just think thinking. So? Yes, yes, it was very. I, I thought I tried with my metaphors. It like, was, but that's the thing. It was mm -hmm. very suggestive. Yeah, it was very suggestive. Yeah, so I tried that was, to you know, let people just take it for what they want to take it to be. I. What I did you mean it to be? Though <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to be raunchy. I just meant that yo, like, picture this. You have like your man who's like going out working you know trying to make a living for his family and make you guys comfortable and then obviously when he's at work he can go through some different type of stress so when he gets home just you know help him ease into the sanity that is you guys's relationship or whatever so that's pretty much what i, I don't know saying. what you're talking about <laughs> you don't know what i'm talking about i think about? a good meal and then just <laughs> sleep meals just a good Sometimes, meal and then sleep man shall not sleep by Bread alone, but by what? He can have <laughs> bread and beans. He can have bread and everything. <laughs> okay. Right. And then, um, so before that, it was... Um, so before that, um, I had done Jara and then I had done Lai. Lai was the first song that I did that kind of launched me. Mm -hmm. But to do that or to get a proper, like, foundational grounding, I had done a cover for Brimo's Ara, mm -hmm. which kind of, you know caught a lot of attention he endorsed it he released it on the radio because he had mm. asked people to do their versions yeah. of the song and so i came out doing it and i was kind of scared because i didn't want to you know mess up somebody's song yeah i was like oh, i don't know man and i don't know so i was just also. like you know crouching mm. in the corner and i put it out and before i knew it it had like about seven thousand hits that same day so um and then he released it on radio and you know that just helped me so i did lie featuring flow mm. sick and then i did jara and then i took a break I went on a very long hiatus. I needed to really understand the industry because mm. I came in and just started working. I didn't, you know, survey the environment. Okay, so who would you love to work with? Uh, in Nigeria, I definitely would love to work with Two Face. Two Face is, for me, he embodies humility and success put together because sometimes you cannot marry the two. Yeah. Some people, mm. when they are successful, they lose their humility, but he has just kept it side by side. In fact, I feel like the humility trumps his success. Mm. And I love his sound. He has an amazing voice. And so I would want to marry our vocals together. Okay. Just vocals and... I was and. going to say. <laughs> All right, so, I was going to um, say. But maybe, outside, maybe next time you're going to say that, use like Fuse. Fuse. As okay. to marry. Yeah, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Fuse our yeah, vocals just to, together. Just to be on the safe side. All right. Side. So um, outside of Nigeria, maybe in Africa, I would love to work with... Uh, DJ Ganyani. Okay. Or, oh, yes. or Mikasa. Okay. What about the Nigerian female artists? Nigerian female artists, I definitely want to work with somebody that um, brings something different to the table. And when I say different, I mean different sound. So I know that uh, Fefe has a different sound. Chidima has a different sound. I know that Eva Lodia has a different mm -hmm. sound. So I want to work with those people. And hopefully, um, anyone really that that as long as we can sit down in the studio and bring out something, create something different and something nice. Okay. I'm willing to work with anyone. Great, great thing. Now, there was this um, magazine, <laughs> this magazine, you were on the cover, but you weren't by yourself. Mm -hmm. You were with your <coughs> rumored boyfriend, mm -hmm. Uti. Mm -hmm. Uti Nwachuku. So, are you guys dating? Are you guys not, are you guys just friends? I would tell are you, you this. Are you guys doing a publicity thing? What's the situation? I'll tell you that there is someone special. <laughs> so if you had to give a yes or no answer to this, <laughs> what would it be? Is there a price or something? Um, possibly. No, I, I cannot guarantee that. That's not, that's not all. Okay, yes. A million dollars. Can we see the million dollars right now first? They're bringing it. They're bringing Plus. it. Yes, yes. It's, <laughs> it's, it's in the suitcase outside. Are you dating this year? Girl. <laughs> There's someone special in my life. Okay. <laughs> I have a feeling that that special someone is actually not Uti. You're grinding my, me right I'm now. Sensing, like you're really I'm grinding sensing me that it's right actually now. not Uti. <laughs> mm. All right then. Well, thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you for having me. Best of luck with this, you know, your special person who thank is not you. Uti. I don't think it's Uti. <laughs> <laughs> you guys always need the tools. Okay. She doesn't, she doesn't so have it, the answers. Is it Uti? <laughs> you don't have, I don't okay. have the answers. All right. You don't thank have you the answers, we don't have the answers. <laughs> thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you for having me. I'm Tools. If you enjoyed watching that, make sure you subscribe to the Indani TV channel and you can also watch more videos here.